All right, guys, I got the um, the grill out of the Tacoma. And what I'm gonna do today is take the grill out. And only way to get this grill out is to actually cut it out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna go around the corner here where the grill connects to the uh, to the body of the car. And basically just cut this out so I have a clear grill. As first step, I'm gonna take the grill out with my awesome little tool here called Sawzall. Now, one thing to note, make sure you're not wearing socks and sandals when you're doing this. Make sure you're wearing shoes because I don't want any of you losing your toe when you're doing this. So here we go. All right guys, so the edges of the grill has been cut out and you can see that the center section just kind of comes out now. So now I have a big open grill that I'm going to sand down these edges and paint black so that it looks nice and fresh. Here's what the grill looks like after it's been cut out. I have already sanded off the tabs so it's nice and smooth. You can see that there's little uh, square pieces because of the shape of the original grill. When you take it out, it leaves this kind of square type hole. A lot of people actually use um, fiberglass and basically recreate the flatness on the bottom here so that it looks consistent and nice and clean finish. But in my case, I don't really care for the fiberglass and uh, making this look consistent because for one you're probably not going to look at it and for two i'll probably be putting fog lights inside here and i'm going to destroy this anyways so if you come over here this is a grill that came out very beefy actually it's got to be one of the beefiest grills i've ever took out um, very strong um, and you definitely need saws or some kind of dremel that uh, will cut through plastic pretty easily because it will take um, a good amount of time to remove all these grills if you don't have any power tools. Here's a little trick I like to use when I'm painting, especially when it's cold out like it is today. It's about 50 degrees out here because it's the beginning of the uh, fall here in Michigan. I would like to heat up the spray paint by using a heat gun. Of course you want to shake this up nice and well, but it works even better when the contents inside here is nice and warm as well. So I would heat it up for a good, uh, I don't know, two minutes until the can feels nice and warm. Alright guys, so here is a new look for the taco. The grill is gone. I repainted the bumper section down here. The upper trim, the lower trim. Uh, I painted the tow hook red because I'm not riser like that. I have done the 3M undercoat paint all throughout the truck so that the rust is completely gone. No rust, no rust, no rust. And if I come around to the back, I painted the back bumper piece as well and also removed the tow hook because I don't plan on towing anything with this truck anyways so it gives the truck more of a cooler look this I would say is just the beginning of it all I have a lot of things planned in my mind as for the bumper up front I think I'm gonna run three big fog lights one here one here one here just mounted inside the grill here and I think that will give the car a cool look I'm also gonna run the LED bar up top here um, so I'm gonna start researching that and uh, in the meantime I'm gonna buy the fog lights for the grill and snap that in which will be the next video that I'll be posting so thanks for tuning in guys I hope you liked my taco build so far although I haven't really built up the bumper because fabricating that out of uh, raw material metal 
was more of a walk than I ever thought. So this is where I am and this is where it's going so far. So far so good. I like the truck. It's been a great daily so far and I look forward to modifying the truck even more. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.